WAP tech not triggered? This is a really good question, and I prophylactically, preventative medicine mode, try to make sure that this isn't possible to ask, but uh, someone actually asked it. Do you just make up questions in order to put a, quote, stupendous conception that your wonderful cyber quantum active mind, something, something, dark side. I mean, the guy's just rambling just for fun and entertainment, but it's a good question. Uh, do I ever just make up questions? Uh, if you haven't noticed, except for a fairly large period of time where YouTube blocked being archived, which was really, really bad of them to do, totally an accident. I archive the questions that I'm asked by people because literally some people can't believe I'm asked questions either that stupid or off topic, or other people can't believe I'd be asked a question so seemingly loaded. So I go ahead and archive these things. But no, I don't make up the questions most of the time. When I do, I just say I'm not just answering questions with WabTech, I'm just doing a subject I want to cover myself. That's when I look up something that I had a question about and put up a video about it. I don't come up with uh, just creating uh, a straw man argument, aka question, uh, to do a video on very often. I've done it before, but that's because it's generally the question people are asking, and I haven't been asked it, but I want to stick in my two cents, so I say, this is the question on the internet. I don't, I, I don't say I've been asked a question when I haven't, but that's a very good question right there, um, and it's one of the reasons I would preventatively archive everything someone said. Other people ask me, do you do that to make sure they can't change what they've asked so they don't look bad? And it's like, well, sometimes I do it because it shows that they posted a question that had an error in it and then they corrected it. I don't think that's a bad thing. Sometimes people do it so they can say something nasty to me, wait till I responded, and then make it go away so that they don't have to admit that it happened. But I archive those specifically because it's a threat or it's an accusation or whatever. And it's something that a person might backpedal. But virtually every time that I archive a question, when I'm allowed to by YouTube, it's because it's something someone asked and I want to give them credit for it. But putting their name in the video, unless somebody's willing to click the, the source link to find out who asked the question, I don't want to do uh, calling them out on it. Because, again, most of the questions I'm asked are legitimate questions. But the reason it's called just asking questions with WabTech is that sometimes it's people making an assertion or saying something's real or not real, but they refuse to explain why I should believe them, number one. And number two, they may be claiming it's someone else's work and they're just repeating it when really it's just an assertion they have. So that's a good question. Do I make up questions in order to, uh, I'm, I'm assuming here, make myself look smart or whatever? No. Uh, none of the stuff I do on this channel makes me look smart. Truly, it doesn't. I'm not smart or intelligent. I. The only reason I do some of these videos is because I'm asked a question. And ironically, this is a very good question. I get asked very little. Because this is a legitimate question. And, and it's also not just asking a question. This person's maybe hinting, maybe I'm doing this to try to look smart. So there will be a link below, hopefully if YouTube still lets it work, that leads back to the question. And it has an ID code on it when you look them up that says basically the video ID code and then ampersand LC equals and then a string of code that ends in BAG on this channel almost every time. I have no clue how YouTube does this. It doesn't seem like a unique identifier, but I think it might refer to, I really have no clue. All I know is it usually, but not always, archives the person's question. And that was under a WAPTEC drank the MSM Fauci Kool-Aid flavor aid. Can't actually pronounce a certain word, I, I, Ivermectin. Um... Nobody's asked me any of the obvious questions I was hoping they do because the video was about how I tricked somebody into always obsessing about me mispronunciating things. That's a, that's a Popeye joke if anybody's... Here. Nobody asked me why I did the Popeye thing. Most people who watch my channel are old enough to know it's a Popeye joke. But anyway, also a Fred Flintstone joke and everything else. Um, <clears throat> and again, it doesn't matter if people mispronounce things. It doesn't. If we have... You know, a description below in the video and links that lead to what we're talking about. Any any person who can sound like an idiot hick or an idiot, you know, townie. Uh, people in cities are smart, are just as smirt as uh, people in the in the hills. Uh, anybody can evaluate these subjects and come to their own conclusions, and they can be right or wrong. You can get your opinion wrong. That's because you're. It's not an opinion. You're stating a fact about something, and that's what this whole thing is about. 
And when it comes specifically to uh, whether vaccines work, they don't suddenly stop working because your president says so or because some politician said so. And masks don't suddenly change from being a medically necessary piece of protective equipment to being a political statement. Uh, You will find people saying that wearing a load-bearing vest or wearing a plate carrier is a political statement when it's not needed. Some people wear them because it makes them feel safe because they were in the military and it actually helps with PTSD. I know two military veterans who wear a plate carrier or whatever the hell they are wearing. They don't show me. And it weighs a lot. And it, it helps them stay, you know, it helps them with their posture and everything, but they wear it mostly because it saved their lives or made them feel like their life would be saved. You know, it's not a political statement. They're just wearing it. You know, and they'll say, yeah, I'm in drag today, but you can't see it because I'm wearing normal clothes. You know, uh, I know several people who uh, wear all sorts of things or do all sorts of things that would be interpreted as political statements. I know people who wear red top hats, hats because it's part of their job. It doesn't mean they're Trump supporters. I know people who wear blue caps, and they're not Democrats. It's just a uniform, or it's just their favorite color. I My favorite color at one time was blue. I just had an affinity, specifically to indigo, royal blue. You know, that, that was one of my favorite colors for some reason, for shit, a couple of decades. Then I discovered black. So anyway, um, not everything has to be a political statement, ideological statement, or a loaded question. Even if it is, it doesn't have to be treated that way. You can't give offense, you can only take it. And I'm, I'm very good at building fences. Take offense, get offense, fence jokes. Huh. But no, uh, I, I really do virtually every video as a response to a question, even if I waste a lot of your time doing this. Um, and I hope it's entertaining to people. I try not to take myself too seriously. I try to be the little bush, you know, the shrub about a lot of things. When I make a gaffe, I just laugh at it because that's the best way to get past things. And uh, I have major failures on my part every day to teach me a lesson about ever having a huge ego about this. I do not think I'm smarter than everybody else. I'm very sure I'm not. Um, On this channel, I hope I can upload. Um, Most of my channels are currently being auto-flagged by the bot by YouTube. Uh, You may see a Hydra Streisand video. Let's fill out the video just for a few more minutes. Which will say, I'm not able to or allowed to upload from this point forward because somebody flagged my channel. And then I'll have links and information in the video because I won't be able to make a video that day. So I'll be making an old video visible. I'm also going to be setting up a fifth channel because one of my channels is on the ropes. YouTube is, is absolutely looking for any reason to kill it now. Because they've decided a video they originally labeled as Medical misinformation is now hate speech. That means they're just spinning the wheel of stupid to decide what they're going to flag it with. And all of my channels have been threatened by email uh, and told you may may have your rights to upload or do uh, Google Meets and of a hundred other things listed, restricted if you don't cease and desist, uh, covering sensitive topics in an, in an, a method that borders on breaking rules. Meaning, obviously, I'm not breaking rules, but they'd love to get rid of me. But those are not in emails, actually. They're in a notification on YouTube, which means I can't really get a copy of it unless I do a screen grab, which I didn't do. Um, normally, that's an email, but they chose to put it up as a warning on screen, and then it went away. Have any of you had that happen? I'm just asking a question. I'm not actually making an accusation. I don't know. Um, But anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that. And this has been not just answering a question with WAPTEC, but uh, it's a good one. Bye.